Hello grade 6, it's quiz time! Your 15 points quiz is on page 114 to 115 and what you're gonna do is to circle the correct answer for each question and reminder, you should be finished answering when the time is up. If you're ready, let's begin. For number 1, which can give an electric force? Which can give an electric force? A. Rubbing dry objects together. B. Rubbing wet objects together. C. Different sides of magnets touching. Or D. Same sides of magnets touching. Timer starts now. Circle your answer if it's A, B, C, or D, which can give an electric force. A, B, C, or D. Time is up. Let's proceed to number two. What happens if two balloons are rubbed with wet hands and placed next to each other? What happens if two balloons are rubbed with wet hands and placed next to each other? A. They repel each other. B. They attract each other. C. They get bigger. Or D. Nothing happens. Circle your answer now. Take note that the balloons are wet. Time is up. For number three question, which are all parts of a circuit with a bulb? Which are all parts of a circuit with a bulb? A. Bulb, battery, electric cell. B. Bulb, electric wire, electric cell. C. Switch, electric cell, bulb. Or D. Bulb, electric motor, electric cell. Timer starts now. Which are all parts of a circuit with a bulb? A, B, C, or D. Time is up. For number four question, which joins an energy source to an appliance? Which joins an energy source to an appliance? A. Electric wire, B. Dry cell battery, C. Light bulb, D. Electric motor. Timer starts now. Which joins an energy source to an appliance? Which joins the battery to the bulb? Time is up. For number five, in which will the bulb shine brightest? In which will the bulb shine brightest? Is it one, two, or three? A, one, B, two, C, three, D, two, and three. Remember that the bulb will shine brightest if there are more batteries. Time is up. Let's proceed to number 6. 
use the picture to answer questions 6 and 7. So you can see here a diagram. And the question for number 6 is, what is M? What is M in the diagram? A. Light bulb B. Buzzer C. Electric motor D. Electric cell Timer starts now. For number 7, what happens if one electric wire is removed? What happens if one electric wire is removed? A. Electric wire breaks B. Electric cell weakens C. No change or D. Appliance stops working Timer starts now. What happens if one electric wire is removed? A, B, C, or D. For number 8, how are appliances connected in a household? How are appliances connected in a household? A, in compound circuits. B, in parallel circuits. C, in series circuits or D in alternating circuits how are appliances connected in a household A B C or D Number 9. What are disadvantages of series circuits of light bulb? What are disadvantages of series circuits of light bulb? A. Choose which bulb to shine. B. Difficult to connect. C. More parts than parallel circuits. D. All bulbs go off when one is broken. Circle your answer. Now, let's proceed to number ten, which allows electric current to pass through. Which allows electric current to pass through? A. Wood B. Copper C. Rubber or D. Plastic Or which is an electric conductor? Circle your answer now. For number 11, refer to the picture. Which is its circuit diagram? Which is the circuit diagram of this picture? We have two bulbs, wires, and three cells. Is it A, B, C, or D? Timer starts now which is the circuit diagram of the picture. Two bulbs, wire, and three cells. Let's proceed to number 12, which is correct. Again, refer to the picture. A. Bulb 1 will shine if one dry cell battery is removed. B. Bulb 1 will shine if one dry cell battery is added. C. It is a series circuit, so bulb 1 goes off 
if bulb 2 is removed. D. It is a parallel circuit, so bulb 1 goes off if bulb 2 is removed. Timer starts now. Time is up. For number 13, if one bulb is removed, will the other bulb still shine? Again, refer to the picture. It's a series circuit. We have two cell battery wire and two bulbs. A. Yes, it will. It is a series circuit. B. Yes, it will. It is a closed circuit. C. No, it will not. It is a series circuit. Or D. No, it will not. It is a closed circuit. Timer starts now. If one bulb is removed, will the other bulb still shine? Yes or no. For number 14, which shows a parallel circuit of electric bulbs that has all of these parts? Which shows a parallel circuit of electric bulbs that has all of these parts? Light bulbs, electric wires, dry cell batteries, and switch. A. Is it this one? Is it letter B, letter C, or letter D? We have light bulbs, electric wires, dry cell batteries, and switch. Which among these four pictures? And for the last number, number 15, which are all electrical conductors? Which are all electrical conductors? A. Plastic, silver, fabric. B. Wood, plastic, gold. C. Silver, copper, iron. Or D. Wood, rubber, plastic. Which are all electrical conductors? Timer starts now. that is the end of our quiz now here are the correct answer for numbers 1 to 15 I want you to check your answers and count your scores after checking kindly take a photo of your scores and send it to the line group that's all for today have a good day and goodbye